Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're upgrading this Mark 7 Golf R Estate um, to stage two. Um, so before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then also the notification bell and you'll get notified whenever any of our latest videos come out. So obviously you won't miss a thing. Um, so yeah, so walk you through the upgrade package. So obviously we've got the Wagner intercooler here. So that upgrades the factory intercooler, obviously keeps the um, higher boost pressures a lot cooler than the standard um, intercooler. And obviously we've got the catalyst downpipe here. So remove the factory cat and the downpipe, larger bore as well. So freeze the flow fully. Um, and that will mate up to the uh, Remus exhaust system with the reducer that we have here as well. Um, as well as that, we're doing the stage two ECU software. So it's gonna be custom in-house ECU software. So obviously we're gonna be logging um, all the various parameters on the dyno um, and then basically custom tuning it to see what power figures we can get, um, optimizing all the maps inside the ECU, like fueling boost, ignition, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then also we're doing the DSG software as well. Um, obviously we'd usually be installing um, APR, but obviously APR no longer support the stage two for the Mark 7 Golf R. Um, and we've been tuning these with like big turbos and stuff like that for a couple of years now. So yeah, we've got the stage two ECU software available to customers and that's what we're gonna do on this car today and walk you through the process. Obviously we've had it on the dyno this morning um, and then we'll have it on the dyno later on and then we'll compare the figures before and after, walk you through them. Okay, so hope, hope you enjoy it. on the dyno after installing the stage 2 ECU software and the DSG software and um, obviously the reason why we're installing the DSG software amongst like faster shifting um, and all that kind of stuff um, most importantly it's got the increased clamping pressure to make sure that the clutches don't slip um, so you can maximize sort of like the power and torque gains just go back over um, the upgrades that are installed on this car so obviously the car rate arrived in this morning um, standard ECU software but had an intake on it um, so the car was making around 315 horsepower and about 300 foot-pounds of torque. And um, so a little bit over the, the standard figures with those mods. We've installed the uh, Scorpion downpipe, the Wagner intercooler, and obviously done the, the DSG and the ECU software. Um, and you can see the differences behind me. So the dotted lines are as the car arrived today. And then the um, solid lines is as the car is leaving now. Um, so the blue line is the torque and the red is the power. So talking about peak power figures, and it's gone from 315 horsepower all the way up to about 375. And then in terms of torque, it's gone up from around 300 foot pounds to about 390. Um, so big improvements in power and torque, as you can see all across the rev range. Um, this particular car actually makes standard horsepower now at 4,250 RPM. So the car's gonna be absolutely incredible to drive, um, obviously with massive power 
as well at peak, but also under the curve as well, which is where you're going to be driving the car most of the time. Um, yeah, so we're going to hand the car over to the customer and let them enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously if you enjoyed the video, then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.